Check it out. We have a gradient quad. One key, two key, three key. The three key is for the gradient quad pipeline. Let's take a look at the logic involved. This is our shader source for the gradient quad, the fragment shader. This is where we've edited the code. Everything else is pretty much a cut and paste. The input output texture coordinate dot x is for the red. Input output texture coordinate dot y is for the green. Blue is always zero and the alpha is 1.0. And that's why you can see the increasing red on the x, increasing green on the y axis. You might notice that the coordinates are kind of inverted. Let's take a look at that. So if you're familiar with WebGL, you know that the origin should be down here, but we have a sane top left origin. We are doing that, if you look down here, by inverting our mapping. So the mapping from X to X between the vertex position is mapped in a standard way. However, the mapping of the Y axis vertex position to the y-axis texture cord has been inverted in order to give us a sane graphical origin. We have some footnotes on how that is, and then some other footnotes down here, and that is it.